No one was ready for this pandemic. Before the scientist know what's is it, thousands of people died and unstoppable number of cases coronavirus increasing day by day. This virus first outbreak was at Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market also known as Huanan Seafood Market. Was a live animal and seafood market in Jianghan District, Wuhan, Hubei, China. The World Health Organization was notified on December 31, 2019 about an outbreak of pneumonia in Wuhan. Of the initial 41 people hospitalized with pneumonia who were officially identified as having laboratory confirmed SARS-CoV-2 infection by January 2, 2020, two-thirds were exposed to the market. The market was closed on January 1, 2020 for sanitary procedures and disinfection. 33 out of 585 environmental samples obtained from the market indicated evidence of coronavirus, COVID-19. Meet Dr. Li Wenliang, a Chinese ophthalmologist. He worked as a physician at Wuhan Central Hospital. Li Wenliang was the first to identify a new virus. Li warned his colleagues in December 2019 about a possible outbreak of an illness that resembled severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, later acknowledged as COVID-19. He became a whistleblower when his warnings were later shared publicly. On January 3, 2020, Wuhan police summoned and admonished him for making false comments on the internet. Li returned to work, later contracted the virus from an infected patient who had been originally treated for glaucoma, and died from the disease. At 2.58 am on February 7, 2020, at age of 33, the World Health Organization posted on Twitter saying that it was deeply saddened by the passing of Dr. Lee Wenliang and we all need to celebrate work that he did on number 2019 and cov. The first thing was to find the patient zero. Generally the meaning of patient zero is the first person infected by the virus COVID-19. There have been various theories as to where the first ever case, or patient zero, may have originated. Researchers say the first known case of the novel coronavirus was traced back to December 1, 2019 in Wuhan, Hubei, China, but, a later unconfirmed claim, citing Chinese government documents suggests that the first victim was a 55-year-old man who fell ill on November 17, 2019. Again on March 27, 2020, news outlets citing a government document reported that a 57-year-old woman, who tested positive for the coronavirus disease on December 10, 2019 and was described in the Wall Street Journal on March 6, 2020, may have been patient zero. Within the next month, the number of coronavirus cases in Hubei gradually increased to a couple of hundred, before rapidly increasing in January 2020. On December 31, 2019, enough cases of unknown pneumonia had been reported to health authorities in Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province, to trigger an investigation. These were mostly linked to the Huanan seafood wholesale market, which also sold live animals. Thus the virus is thought to have a zoonotic origin. During the early stages of the outbreak, the number of cases doubled approximately every seven and a half days. In early and mid-January 2020, the virus spread to other Chinese provinces, helped by the Chinese New Year migration and Wuhan being a transport hub and major rail interchange. On January 20th, China reported nearly 140 new cases in one day including two people in Beijing and one in Shenzhen. Later official data shows that 6,174 people had already developed symptoms by January 20, 2020. On January 10, based on reports from Chinese authorities, the WHO issued a travel advisory asking travelers to follow guidelines to reduce the general risk of acute respiratory infections while traveling in or from affected areas, currently Wuhan City. While noting that the mode of transmission of the virus was unclear, it advised against the application of any travel or trade restrictions on China. On January 12, based on additional information from the Chinese National Health Commission, WHO stated that at this stage, there is no infection among healthcare workers, and no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. On January 24, 
WHO updated its travel advisory by recommending entry and exit screenings while continuing to advise against travel restrictions. On January 30th, the WHO declared the outbreak to be a public health emergency of international concern. A public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. On February 24th, WHO Director Tedros Adhanom warned that the virus could become a global pandemic because of the increasing number of cases outside China. We on March, therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. On March 11th, the WHO officially declared the coronavirus outbreak to be a pandemic, following a period of sustained community-level transmission in many regions of the world. On March 13, the WHO declared Europe to be the new center of the pandemic after the rate of new European cases surpassed that of regions of the world apart from China. By March 16, 2020, the total number of cases reported around the world outside China had exceeded that of mainland China. On March 19, 2020, China reported no new domestic cases, excluding cases re-imported from abroad, for the first time since the outbreak while the total number of reported deaths in Italy surpassed that of China. On March 27, 2020, Chinese scientists reported that as many as 10% of those who have recovered from COVID-19 and tested negative, tested positive again. As of March 29, 2020, more than 724,000 cases have been reported worldwide. More than 34,000 people have died and more than 152,000 have recovered. The United States has overtaken China and Italy to have the highest number of confirmed cases in the world. Now you will see the China coronavirus reports till March 27, 2020. The black box suggested number of death people. The blue box suggests number of recovered patient. The orange box suggests number of tested patients. The yellow box suggests clinically diagnosed patient. Domestic responses. The first confirmed case of COVID-19 has been traced back to December 1, 2019 in Wuhan. One unconfirmed report suggests the earliest case was on November 17. COVID-19 was confirmed to have spread to South Korea on January 20, 2020 from China. Iran reported its first confirmed cases of SARS-CoV-2 infections on February 19 in Qom. As of March 18, more than 250 million people are in lockdown in Europe. The outbreak was confirmed to have spread to Italy on January 31. The 2019 to 2020 coronavirus pandemic was confirmed to have spread to Spain on January 31, 2020. The United Kingdom response to the virus first emerged as one of the most relaxed of the affected countries. And until March 18, 2020, the virus was confirmed to have spread to France on January 24, 2020. The virus was confirmed to have been transmitted to Germany on January 27, 2020. The first known case in the United States of COVID-19 was confirmed in the Pacific Northwest state of Washington on January 20, 2020. The first case of the 2019 to 2020 coronavirus pandemic in India was reported on January 30, 2020. As of March 31, 2020, more than 801,000 cases of COVID-19 have been reported in 200 countries and territories, resulting in